Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So today is clean sheet Sunday so I thought I would share a deep clean of my bedroom and share some tips on how I clean my bedding, my mattress, my bedroom and hopefully give you some motivation to clean your bedroom too. If you're new to my channel then hi my name's Michelle and I upload a lot of cleaning content so if you like this kind of video then don't forget to subscribe. The first thing that I need to do is strip the bedding to be washed. When I take the duvet off, I always button it back up to prevent the rest of the washing essentially wrapping up inside the washer because this always happens and it drives me crazy. When I put my bedding on, in addition to my normal detergent, I also add Lenore and Stoppables to the drum just for some extra freshness and it makes the bedding smell amazing. As my bedding is white, I also add in Vanish Extra White to the drawer. This stuff is absolutely amazing for keeping bedding super white. I always wash my bedding on at least 90 degrees to ensure that it kills any bacteria and gives it a really good clean. I generally put the washing on first thing as it does take quite a while washing it on that heat whilst I get on with the day and back in the bedroom the first thing I do is open the windows really wide to let some fresh air in. Something I always do on my deep clean bedroom days is give the bed itself a good clean. This is something I always used to forget about but it's important to give the headboard a clean as it can get so dusty and I find the best way to do this is to just vacuum the headboard. I find the best way to clean my mattress of any odours are things like sweat because let's be honest, spending so much time in our beds is bound to get a bit grimy. So I start by vacuuming the bed and then sprinkle the mattress with baking soda. I pour it through a sieve to ensure it covers the bed evenly. I then leave this for around an hour to completely dry and it basically will absorb any moisture. Whilst the baking soda is drying, I get on and tidy my chest of drawers. This really gets so dusty. I think because it has a glass top, the dust just seems to stick to it more. So initially, I'll just polish and dust things as I move them and then polish the chest of drawers using polish and a yellow duster. Once I've removed all the main dust, I then use Method Glass Cleaner with a window cloth to finish the glass and then place the items back onto the chest of drawers. I also give the front drawers a quick polish too as the drawers can get really dusty. Once the chest of drawers are clean, I polish the bedside cabinet. I really don't like these lights in here. I probably mentioned this in any video that you see my bedroom and I really want new ones. Definitely on my list very soon. Next up I'll polish the window seals again just using my pledge polish and the yellow duster and then I'll get on and clean the windows. So here I will use the method glass cleaner and window cloths that I get from Wilkinson's. With the mild weather today it really feels like spring is just around the corner. You make me feel like we could be something more, something more. Just want your time By 
By this point, the baking soda should be dry, so I just need to vacuum it up. There are still a couple of stains, so I'm going to use Dr. Beckman's Carpet Stain Remover, which is amazing for removing stains. I have used this before on the mattress, but if you haven't, then it may be worth doing a test on a small area. So I just rub this on any stains on the mattress, and then after a few minutes, wipe away with a clean cloth. So I'm just using a white flannel. Whilst the bed is drying, I'll just vacuum the edges of the room, the areas that don't always get cleaned when you normally vacuum, such as the skirt in boards, and I pull out all behind the chest of drawers and the bedside cabinets. So when I brought the shark vacuum, it actually came with a car accessory kit, which is great for cleaning things like the skirting boards. The mattress is now dry and the bedding is also dry. So firstly, I'll put the mattress protector back on and then add the flat sheet, carefully tucking it in under the bed. I find that at the corners, if you kind of fold it and then place it under, then it keeps the sheets really tight. Now I am no expert at putting the duvet cover on and often this is a job that I leave to Nick, my partner, as he seems to do it much better than me. Um, I know quite a lot of people do it inside out but I just can't seem to manage it that way. So this way works best for me, just kind of starting at the bottom um, and working it that way. So I do really love this quilt as it's so soft. It's from the White Company, I actually got it for a really good price from Vista. Um, but it really creases which is really annoying so in order to make it look nice I have to iron it so before I iron it I sprit with I spritzer it with the Lenore crease release which does really help in minimizing creases and smells amazing too I have tried ironing the covers on the ironing board but it just takes forever and I get in a bit of a mess so I found the best and the quickest way is to iron the covers whilst it's on the bed Please don't tell me I'm the only one who does it this way. Once the covers are all ironed, it's time to sort the pillows out. So I just add the pillowcases to the pillows um, and then line them all up on the bed. And instead of ironing the pillows, I basically use this Swan handheld steamer, um, which is really great for quickly getting rid of creases. And I will sometimes iron the whole bed with this. So again, I will just spritz them with the crease release before I go in and hand steam them. Once the pillows are in place, I then add the cushions, giving them a quick chop as I like this look. Faking your life for the hygiene. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. 
Lastly, I'll add the fro to the bed and tuck it in for a real hotel luxury look. I don't do this every day, a lot of the time I just throw it over. So just to mention that I don't actually iron the bottom of the bed, because it's covered by the fro, there's no kind of need to, so at least that saves me a little bit of time. So now the bed is made, the last thing that I need to do is vacuum the entire room. Now I always do this last as dust can just blow everywhere, especially when you're kind of shaking the bed around. So I would definitely recommend vacuuming the bedroom last. Generations please and make up and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Once the room is vacuumed, I just finish it off with 1001 carpet refresher, which makes the carpet and the room smell absolutely incredible. So there we have it, the room is completely tidy and clean. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.